Hi, my name is Pete McAtee. And I'm Chloe Matthews. Welcome to Encounter Shawnee Mission. Today we will be taking a look inside the many schools in the Shawnee Mission School District. Let's jump right into Trailwood with Brandon Maxey and Joe Stokes for Jump Rope for Heart. Every year at Trailwood Elementary, students participate in Jump Rope for Heart. From kindergartners to the sixth graders, the whole school joins together to raise money for the American Heart Association. This, coupled with the jump rope activities in gym class, helps the kids get active and fight against heart disease. To learn more about the benefits of Jump Rope for Heart, we went to Trailwood's PE teacher, Kathy Zing. Well, in elementary school, you know, we learn how to jump rope, long rope, short ropes, Chinese jump rope, all different kinds of things. And, and jump roping is awesome for your heart. So um, February's Heart Health Month, and um, this week's Valentine's Week, so we like to do the jump rope for heart um, after they've learned their, their jumping skills and just practice them. But it's also great for heart, and it helps them kind of connect um, with people who've had heart attacks or strokes. Beyond helping fight against heart disease, Jump Rope for Heart provides a fun way for kids to stay active in gym class. To find out why the kids enjoy Jump Rope for Heart, we talked to Miss Sink's sixth grade class. It helps people that have heart problems. I like it because you can just really jump and hang out with your friends. It can help kids with heart disease and we raise up money and then after we raise up the money we're, we can get prizes. Clearly the kids are excited about Jump Roping here at Trailwood Elementary. Reporting with Encounter Shawnee Mission, this has been Joe Stokes and Brandon Maxey. A long time ago, History Club was created at Indian Woods Middle School, so get ready for a blast from the past with Santa Simchuk and Noah Brickle. We visited Indian Woods Middle School to find out about their newest after-school activity, History Club. Let's find out more. Okay, well there were a lot of kids that uh, were interested in history, obviously, and uh, they wanted to have more, maybe, well not more, but in-depth discussions, Supreme Court cases possibly, um, topics within history that uh, really made them think. Um, I would say my students that I have uh, this year, I mean, they're just so talented, and uh, they're willing to spend more time after school, maybe to, to really um, dive into history a little bit more deeply through discussions, maybe uh, playing a game. We asked the students what they thought about and why they joined History Club. I really like it because like, it's a student-run group that you can control. Like, Mr. White just supervises it and gives us ideas and then we can take control. Like, We wanted to play a game, so he found us a game. That's what I like about it because other groups are like, you have to do this, and this one's not. History Club's latest project is a large American flag depicting notable quotes from America's past. So, and this, is the, this flag was basically dedicated to the students of anyone's middle school and all students uh, and, supporting, and supporting an education and really what that means. United States flag, we painted this up, and there's just, uh, you know, famous quotes, American quotes that are very motivating to get you through maybe a tough day. To learn more about History Club, contact Curtis White at Indian Woods Middle School. <laughs> Reporting with Encounter Shiny Mission, this has been Noah Burkle and Santa Sincha. Students at Deemer have been getting some extra practice after school with Math Club. Let's hear from Hayden Cohen and Morgan Veal to see how things are adding up at John Deemer Elementary. Fourth and fifth graders at John Deemer Elementary find ways to make math fun. Let's check out Math Club. My whole point of Math Club is to try to garner an interest in math. It's a lot of fun to see the kids take something that's more academic based and have fun with it in a competitive type of situation. I joined Math Club because I like math a lot. My favorite part of Math Club is getting to do math games with all your friends. Kids have that self-fulfilling prophecy where I'm no good at math, I can't do math, my mom wasn't good at math, and really we need to change our mindset. The students involved in Math Club express to us what their favorite parts are and what they learned. My favorite math problem is doing the cube problems. I like the logic boxes. I learned how to do geometry problems a lot better. How to divide fractions. We take anybody in Math Club, they don't have to be a high performing student. While some of them might not necessarily make A's in math, the confidence, I think, that they learn in math club doing certain kinds of math problems, I think, does help in the classroom. Students who join math club don't just learn strategies how to do math. 
They also gain confidence from figuring out the problems. I think seeing their faces when they figure out how to do something they couldn't do before, and we give them a couple strategies and all of a sudden they can figure it out and their faces light up. Again, just that background and having a feeling that I can do math, uh, that it's not a bad subject, I think it'll carry them far. Reporting with Encounter Shawnee Mission, this has been Morgan Veal and Hayden Cohens with John Deemer Elementary. Next up, we have the daytime musical at Rose Hill with Parker Hoy and Brendan Brooks. You never know, the next Broadway star could be performing in your own elementary school. Everyone knows how the Shawnee Mission School District does their fifth grade hero project. But this year, students at Rose Hill Elementary put on a daytime musical inspired by it. The kids probably started working on the program mid-January in their individual classes. And then last week, we got together for the first time. And uh, they're great singers and they're great kids. And that's what I want them to know, is that they can be awesome. They don't have, the music doesn't have to be their favorite thing, but it can be a favorite thing. And they can be awesome at it. So today, we brought the awesome, and it was good. We talked to a few students about the program. My favorite song was probably Do You Have a Dream because we, I had a solo in it. The play was about how if you have a dream you can always um, try your hardest and you can do whatever you want to do because um, your dreams are yours. These kids who perform today most of them I have taught since they were in kindergarten. Our program was called Possibilities, and the point we wanted to get across was those people did not start out thinking, I want to be a hero. They just wanted to be themselves and to do whatever dream it was that they had, and they developed these traits that made them heroic, and a lot of it had to do with the choices that they made. And reporting for Shawnee Mission Encounters, this is Brendan Brooks and Parker Hoyt. Now, I may not be very good at chemistry, but these kids at Brookwood are becoming experts. Here's Matthew Schwabauer and Alex Hardwick giving you an inside look at the science lab. Ready, set, go! Every year at Brookwood Elementary, students get to experience hands-on science in the Science Discovery Lab. Today is what we call Discovery Lab, and I teach each class one lesson per year, and they're all 90 minutes long, except for kindergarten is only an hour, and each class gets one lesson per year, um, a, a math, special math or science themed lesson. Today, the second graders are learning about Sir Isaac Newton. They learned about the law of motion, gravity, and light. We're doing one about colors, where we had a little prism and we would see the colors break up from the light. I had a tennis ball and like a rubber ball thing. I think that was my favorite because they, they both landed at the same time, but I knew they were all going to land at the same time. We did gravity and we would drop stuff and see which one would go the fastest down. That sure is a lot of science. But what purpose does this serve? Today, especially, it's so important to get them interested in math and science, and that's what the point of this this room is, and the Discovery Lab, which is what we taught, which I taught today, is to get them interested in. I mean, our, my slogan is "Math is fun and science is cool." So today, at Brookwood, we learned that science is cool. For Encounter Shawnee Mission, I'm Alex Hardwick. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Looks like I won and get to introduce Rock, Paper, Scissors at Shawnee Mission South. Tegan Goodson and Casey Mispagel bring you inside the highly competitive tournament hosted by KSMS. Every year, Shawnee Mission South's advanced video production program, KSMS, hosts its annual Rock, Paper, Scissors tournament. Students are given the opportunity to sign up and compete during lunch for a chance to advance to the school assembly. <laughs> This helps students display good sportsmanship and have some fun. Once the final four are determined, they get to show off their rock, paper, scissors skills in front of the whole school in the championship. This assembly included performances from dance and cheer and also featured a dodgeball game with the staff. But the highlight was the rock, paper, scissors finals. 
the final four, Trevor Johnson, Cosmina Bax, Ethan Iba, and Danny Del Castillo get to choose a song and an entrance as they roll into the competition in style. This year's champion, Danny Del Castillo, was awarded the Golden Rock and Cosmina received the Silver Scissors. Reporting with Encounter Shawnee Mission, this has been Casey Misbagel and Tegan Goodson. For those students needing a little extra help, Brookridge offers a tutoring club after school. Jonathan Whiprot and Jordan Winter have the story. We're here at Brookridge Elementary and we're about to get schooled by their homework and tutoring club. We asked two teachers involved in the activity for some insight into why it's so helpful for students. We had a need for, for the children that weren't going to tutoring, that hadn't their, their teachers hadn't assigned them tutoring, that needed some extra help. So their parents and the teachers recommended that they come. So we just uh, help them with their homework on the tutoring days. Uh, the teachers said it's very helpful because then um, they're in an organized environment to get their homework done and if they have any questions they can always ask us. Ryan Donnelly, a senior at Shawnee Mission South, volunteers as a tutor every week. Um, it's just a, a good way to get a different, uh, different perspective from learning it from another kid. It's, it's just a little different and I think sometimes they pay attention more to kids than they do for, to an adult. To get involved, talk to Secretary Linda Oming in the front office. Reporting with Encounter Shawnee Mission, this has been Jordan Winter and Jonathan Whitbrode. Hey Pete, who's your favorite hero? Uh, probably Spider-Man. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, who's your favorite American hero? Oh, like the ones from Oak Park Carpenter? Exactly. Let's throw it to Stefan Seaman and Maddie Crow to tell us all about it. Every year, the fifth grade students at Oak Park Carpenter research and perform a speech on an American hero. Well, basically they have to research a few um, Americans who um, have done something significant in the history of the United States. We interviewed some students to see why they chose their heroes. I picked my hero by, I kind of just was the last one to the library table and it was the last biography there. So I went ahead and chose it and it turned out to be a very interesting person. Wasn't able to put everything in, but I put most of the interesting stuff in. I heard it in somebody else's speech and Mr. C said it would be a really good idea to do Edwin Hubble's. Fifth grader Katie Duffy has been chosen to represent Oak Park Carpenter as Eleanor Roosevelt. Could you imagine being the best first lady in the world and being nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize three times? I can. Hi, I'm Eleanor Roosevelt and I was an American hero because of my bravery, courage, kindness and independence. Some students have been anticipating this day for many years. Ever since I was in like second grade, um, I've heard a lot about Franklin Delano Roosevelt and so I just started learning about his wife and I really learned to like, like her a lot. And so ever since second grade, I've been wanting to do her, and I've been waiting for fifth grade just so I could do this. This has been Stefan Seaman and Maddie Crow reporting with Shawnee Mission Encounter. I remember now. My hero was George Patton. Hey, Chloe. Yes? Como esta? Pete, you are a foreign exchange student. Okay. If you want to meet some exchange students at Shawnee Mission South, Aaron Bunker and Nicole Sanchez will introduce you. Hi, I'm Nicole with Encounter Shawnee Mission, and today we are at Shawnee Mission South where they have foreign exchange students from all around the world. Let's go meet a few of them. Hey, Chloe. Hello, my name is Daria, and I'm from Deutschland. Hi, my name is Mila, from Denmark. Hi, my name is Julia, and I'm from Deutschland. Hello, I'm from Buriana, and I'm from Bulgaria and Germany. Hello, my name is Lucia, and I'm from Spain. My name is Adam Ifet, and I'm from Germany, and I'm from Germany. Um, a lot of friend of friends of mine did this and it's just like totally different experience for me and I wanted to learn English so. So I wanted to become an exchange student because I had a lot of stress in school and so I wanted to take a year like kind of off and do something for myself. I came to America to learn English and to like learn about the culture. I've become much more like outgoing and I'm not that shy anymore, so... I gained a lot of experience, like just being around people, 
and I learned a lot from like my coaches about basketball and stuff. Not just about basketball, about hard work and stuff. So it was the first time that I really not moved out, but like leave my family and stuff at home and be like alone for one year. And I think, yeah, it changes you. It makes you like more mature. <laughs> That you in New York? What do you like that? <laughs> Thing holding up in the crowd and stuff. Thing has like the thingy and like holds up the, the thing. She has like a fire in her hand and a book, I think. I would really recommend being a foreign exchange student because you get a lot of experience just not with Americans or whatever country you come to, but there's a lot of like exchange kids you hang out with too. And you learn their culture too. Yeah, I would recommend this to everybody because it's like a really good experience to like know more about the world and, and other people and, and our culture. For more information about hosting a foreign exchange student or becoming one, visit the two websites below. Reporting with Encounter Shawnee Mission, this has been Nicole and Aaron. Thank you for watching. This has been Chloe Matthews and Pete McAtee signing off with Encounter Shawnee Mission. Thank you.